What's up goodies? Welcome back to your girl channel and to my kitchen how to cook. And today we're making my peach cobbler recipe in the kitchen. Fast, easy and simple. Make sure you subscribe goodie if you have not. And turn on your post notifications so you won't miss any other uploads. And for all I'm returning goodie, on a done no son of girl loving up. Are you ready for cook? Come on, let's cook. <music> let's walk right into the kitchen and into the recipe now again this is what or this is how I make my peach cobbler fast easy and simple so if you want me to show you how I make this here come on let's let me show you right now I always choose the easy way out because you know me like everything simple right you know, like nothing difficult so I always get this um, any kind but it's a yellow cake mix. Any kind of a yellow cake mix that you can find, that's what you're gonna go for. Otherwise, you just make your flour and you put it in the rain rain and make it from scratch. But me, like I said, I like flavor. I like what it does to the top portion. So this is one that I use, right? Um, the yellow cake mix. Now, I have some peach slices here. Heavy syrup is what I have here. I'm gonna have two cans. Now, you could always substitute that out. You don't have to go this route, but this is the one I like when the when the liquid, the syrup is heavy, heavy syrup, you guys, heavy syrup. And then we're gonna need some salt. We're gonna need some uh, vanilla, some almond extract. We're gonna need some cinnamon powder. Okay, and we, I'm also gonna put some rum flavor. Now in our focus, um, focus, 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 let's say, focus, there you go. So this is the rum flavor, yes, yeah, so. Um, this is totally optional, but honey, let me tell you something, it does something, it does something. And then we're gonna add some cinnamon powder, I'm gonna put the tin butter ready, and the nutmeg, the cinnamon powder, the nutmeg, it's very simple ingredients, you guys. All right, there's one thing that's not there, and that's the butter, um, and I do add a little bit of, milk okay is what i do a little bit of milk to this and that's it so let's go all right goodies so now with our two cans right of the peach cobbler what i'm going to do i'm not going to open this one i'm going to put that aside and i'm going to go ahead and pop this one open right like so and then we have this beautiful creamy nice stuff in there i'm going to strain that out i'm going to take that off in a container all right i'm going to strain that off make sure you get that off all right i'm going to set that aside because we're going to need that for later now what i'm going to do i'm going to go ahead and pour this out all of that and again, goody, I'm not doing any voiceover, so you just might hear all kinds of things in the background, right? All right, so this one now, I'll go cut it up. Like pretty much dice it up in a smaller pieces. And the other one, which is this one, I'm not going to cut that one. I'm going to let that one stay whole. But this one here, I want it to be really, really small. Like, like dicey, dicey, dicey. So go ahead and do that. Now, the amount of peach we use is up to you, okay? You can never have enough of this, this peach in your peach cobbler, right? So yeah, so we'll go ahead and just chop it up some more because I want it fine. Like so. I don't know if I told you guys to subscribe already. Probably did, I don't know, maybe in the intro. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel all right if you guys have not subscribed scop scop subscribe goodie all right so that looks pretty good all right and again you don't want to if you're using the extremely big can kind okay, of them have the big big one right you don't want to use all of it just use a half just use half whole and half chop up chop up like this all right so that looks pretty good all right, so what we're going to do now, we're going to move over to our stovetop and get the rest of the recipes started, right? The main event. 
All right, goodies. So now that we have accomplished our first step, the next thing you want to do is put in your hole, your halves, the big one, right? Just put it in with all that good syrup right there. Um, and then you want to go in and add the one that you chop up. Let's go ahead and pour all that baby in. And now we want to give that thing some flavor, some flavor. So we are going to add some sugar. And don't tell me that's too much sugar, okay? I don't want to hear the nonsense. All right, so we add our sugar in. And we're also going to add the remainder of the, the liquid, the, the syrup from the first one. So you go ahead and put that in as well. And now we're going to flavor this baby up. All right, so we're going to add a little bit of salt. But that's an eyeball. May I use my imagination, right? But you have to add some salt to that. Not a lot, though. And then I'm adding some cinnamon powder. And because I like cinnamon powder, I'm going to put extra. And then we're going to add some nutmeg. Or nutmeg. Nutmeg. I saw no I was a correct moment. I said nutmeg, you know. But it's a Jamaican thing, right? Leave me alone, man. And then we're going to add some vanilla. Vanilla. All right. So I'm going to add that. I'm going to eyeball that too. And then we're going to add some of the almond extract. Now, almond extract is a very strong type of a thing, you know. So we're just going to add just a tad bit. So not a lot. Like that much. Because it's very strong, you guys. And because I'm definitely extra when I'm cooking, I'm going to add some rum flavor in it. That much. It's all giving me a rummy flavor without really adding rum. And that is all that you will need here. We're going to let this come to a bubble. Okay, we're going to let it come to a bubble, but not like you're cooking this thing, like you cook some hard meat, right? You want it to come to a bubble, a simmer. Not a simmer. What am I talking about? If it comes to a simmer, that means your peach is going to be overcooked. You just want it to start bubble. Because we are trying to have the sugar melt. And we're trying to have the rest of this, the, the, um, I was going about, about to say seasoning. We're trying to have the rest of the flavor into the peaches. We're trying to give these peaches flavor, right? So we're going to allow it to come to a slight, slight bubble. And then we'll go ahead and throw this baby out in the baking tray. Okay. So let that, I'm going to let that come to a slight bubble and let you guys see what I'm talking about when I say bubble. All right. What I mean, simmer down with something like me. I simmer down brown shoe chicken or something like that. No, we're not doing that here. Okay. So that's what we're doing. That looks pretty good. All right, you guys. So after it come to a uh, bubble, just like that, that's all you need. A slight bubble. We're going to go ahead and turn the heat off right here because you don't want to overcook these things, all right? Because they will be so soggy. You won't be able to see your peaches in your cobbler. So that's it. I'm going to let that go ahead and just sit and soak up that good juices. Now, over here, I have my butter. And don't tell me something I use too much butter either. I don't want you that either. So we have two sticks of butter here. We're going to go ahead and melt this one. And then we're going to use this to top off our cobbler. Okay, you guys. So moving on, we have our cake mix here. Right there. And we're going to go ahead and add our cake mix into the container. All right. So what we're going to do, what we're going to do, is pour that baby up in here. Like so. And for some of you guys, just know that you don't have to do this method. You could always pour the cake mix on top of your cobbler mix, right? But I'm not going to do that. I don't like it that way. I like to pour it out in a container. And then what I like to do afterwards is add some milk. Now, the milk of my choice is almond milk, you guys, is what I'm using. Almond milk. I like to pour my milk into the butter. I don't have anything else to it. I just use just that alone, milk. All right, and so all I'm gonna do here is just mix it in. Let's go ahead and mix all that good stuff in. 
until it comes nice and creamy you don't want it to be thick all right to be honest with you guys um goody i do not measure this part of it i just go ahead and cut and just add the milk in um until we kind of see how it look or the mixture look if it's runny or whatever if it's runny it's okay because that means your cover is going to be perfect but you don't want it to be thick you guys you know like right now it's way too thick that's not how you want it okay so if it looks like this then you know you you continue to add some more of the milk to it i wouldn't recommend you adding water here at all do not add water and if you do have lumps in it you don't have to worry about the lump sim either because that's going to go away when it starts to bake all right so this is just a little bit too thick for me so i'm going to add just a little bit more milk it's what i'm telling us i'm going to measure i don't measure this part for real for real you just know you just know and then i don't think you could ever go wrong though because it's going to rise anyway because your cake mix has baking powder and all that stuff in it baking um whatever they use to have your the, the, the cake rise so you cannot mess this recipe up at all okay all right so that i think looks fairly good is what i'm thinking yeah that looks good that looks fine perfect we get everything up from the bottom as well bring it to the top and we're good to go now the next thing you want to do is get your baking container and I've already made it to my butter now you want to go in and pour your butter first right pour the melted butter on bottom and then after you've poured your melted butter on bottom you are going to pour this in and it doesn't have to go in any particular order just pour it in just pour this baby in okay no matter it no matter it really don't matter and then all you have to do here now is pour the cake mix on top of this it don't have to be perfect either guys trust me when I tell you it don't have to be perfect all right I'm making sure that I get everything out get it all up in there that looks fine do not mix anything just like how we go in that's how you will leave it um, the next thing I want to do is add some butter on top because let me tell you something when this butter melts it's gonna go right into the cake mix and can you imagine the flavor that happens here hmm better be sure that you 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 know you're doing these steps and not skipping anything okay now the last thing you want to do here is get a little bit of your cinnamon powder um, and sprinkle your cinnamon powder on top of your mix like so all right and now my oven is already preheated you guys I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put this in my oven that's already preheated and I'm going to give this about 40 minutes, 45 minutes to bake. And when we come back, you'll have the perfect peach cobbler in your kitchen. That's easy and simple. Now, goody, when we are all done with this pie, it came out, let's say, fabulous, you guys. All right. Now, I like to let my pie sit for maybe about 30 minutes. 20, 30 minutes after it's from the oven but today we're going to move a little bit faster because I want you guys to actually see how it looks when it's still warm when it's cold everything will hold together more firm more firmly right but however I wanted my ice cream to melt on my peach cobbler my version of how I make my peach cobbler in my kitchen every time straight okay now just take a nice look at how this thing is holding perfectly nice and moist in the bottom with the peach and the flavor of the sugar and the vanilla and the nutmeg honey amazing the smell from the almond extract is off the chain and i'm definitely going in with some ice cream and because i'm extra when i'm cooking i added a little bit of caramel syrup on top gently 
And then of course, to top it off a notch, I'm adding a little bit of almond here, okay? Slice almond, and we are done here. Easy, let's just, let's reverse. Fast, easy, and simple. Any day of the week. My peach cobbler will leave memory on them lips, okay? On the tongue, my darlings. Go ahead and share the recipe with a friend and a family. Tell them what going over here, goody. Bring them come and send them come. I'm waiting. And when you get done doing all of that, tell me when you want to see me cook next in my kitchen. And remember, as always, from my kitchen to your kitchen, enjoy.